on today's video, we are going to learn how to salvage. Uh, I'm currently flying the Drake Vulture. It's a fun little primarily solo ship. Uh, you can run it with an extra crew member, uh, but it's not necessary. And I mean, it speeds things up a little bit, but if you're splitting revenue, it just doesn't seem to speed it up enough to warrant that. I could be wrong. Other people are probably super efficient at it. I'm not. At least for the uh, secondary crewman's job. So, either way, uh, running the ship solo, super easy, uh, a lot of fun really quick to make money uh, so far this seems like other than mining the most stable way to make money and what's nice about salvage is there's no startup cost if you have the ship so if you have a vulture or you have a reclaimer you can go out and start making money immediately uh, I load up 24 crates worth of salvage and that's usually between 170 and 190 credits that uh, takes maybe an hour if you can find salvage which normally isn't hard it's been a little wonky since they uh, updated last week I've had a bit more of a hard time actually getting the scanner to uh, spot salvage so we're gonna test that today and hopefully it works. So we're out here scanning. Uh, what we're looking for is, if you see in the over here where it says RS signature, we're looking for a multiple of 2,000. So 2,000, 4,000, so on and so forth. If it's a multiple of 1,700, then it's a mineable rock. And uh, this is not the ship for that. But to open our scanner, we push V as in victory. Uh, that'll open it up, and then you can change your scan angle by rolling forward or backwards on the mouse. I'd recommend setting it to at least 180. Um, if you run it at 360, yes, it will spot more things. But because it's 360, you're going to be turning around a lot and in space. It can be really easy to get turned around and end up backtracking over stuff you've already looked at two or three times already. And it just gets a little frustrating. But if you set it to 180, uh, you're not going to have that issue. Because it's only going to be scanning in front of the front half of your ship. I'll probably, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead until I locate something. So see you folks in a minute. Okay, so scanning currently does still seem to be broken. Uh, but I did come across some pieces. Uh, so if you're looking out here, those strange... I mean, I don't even know what to describe the symbol as. But that's the symbol for salvage that's floating around for panels. Uh, you can salvage ships, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, however, for whatever reason, you don't seem to get nearly as much stuff out of ships as you do the panels. So to bring up our salvage head, we're going to push M as in Mike. And you'll notice uh, on both the left and the right here, it says we've got two modules. Uh, what that's telling you is, is the one that's highlighted is the one you're using, obviously. Uh, and they have some stats here listed. So the cinch scraper is the narrowest, uh, and it is the fastest to cut through but because it's so narrow, it really, it takes a while. The abrade, on the other hand, 
is two and a third times wider. That speed's listed a lot lower, but I don't really see a difference. The efficiency is pretty high, and then there's a third called a trawler. And I don't remember exactly, but I think the trawler's around seven meters in diameter. It's it's big. Um, and while yes, it will go faster on larger like ships, I find for panels it actually ends up taking a lot longer because panels you want to be a little more precise with. So I pretty much only use the abrade. A little bit more about our user interface here real quick before I keep going. This bar on the right is the amount of salvage that's left on whatever piece your current is currently highlighted. On the left here is how much of a one SCU crate worth of salvage you have inside your salvaging machine, which I'll show you in just a minute once we fill up two of them. And then here in the middle is our rate. I wouldn't worry about the rate too much as long as there's something going on there you're getting something so we just filled up our first crate it's going to spit it out on its own i like to do two crates at a time so it's going to fill that one and eject it we're going to stop our our salvage head while it's ejecting because there's no point it's not going to gather anymore and you'll notice the uh the cargo rate went back to zero. But if you look at me, it fills up quick. Real quick. Our goal is to get 24 crates, which I think we should be able to do. Uh, I saw, I think there's five piece, five panels here. Uh, there's three different panel shapes in game at the moment. This one's the largest. And there's some little, like, winged looking. It looks like the wing off of an Avenger Titan on the back. All right, so it should tell us now that the station is obstructed. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna turn off our engines. We're gonna turn off the mining head. And now we're gonna exit the station. One thing you definitely wanna have with you when you go out to salvage, and I probably should have put this in at the beginning, but I was a distracted this morning, I apologize is uh, you want to make sure you have a multi-tool with a tractor beam attachment. It's not mandatory to leave with one if you are in a salvage vessel because you can make one. So here's the cargo area of our vulture. You'll see it spit out one crate already. We're going to go ahead and use the tractor beam and move that. And it snapped in. Okay, we're going to eject the one that's in there. And real quick, we're going to take a peek over here at Create. So if you look at Create, we can make a multi-tool, we can make a tractor beam, we can make the salvage parts that go on a multi-tool if we want to do some extra hand salvaging. Uh, although I've, it doesn't seem particularly profitable to me, but if that's how you're starting out, there's nothing wrong with making a few extra credits. Uh, when I'm running around doing bunkers, I like to carry a, a couple of empty salvage canisters and a salvage head for my multi-tool. Uh, you'll notice that I stacked this one not on the grid because you can actually fit twice as much cargo in this cargo hold and sell it uh, if you stack around it. But you've got to be careful with how you stack because when you're getting down to the end it's going to be it's going to be tight but hopefully I'll be able to show you guys that. Some people are saying they can fit 25. I think one guy said 28. I don't, I don't know how much I believe that, but uh, if so, more power to them. Oh, another uh, quick thing to throw out there. You may notice that I'm moving my cursor around and my ship's not moving. That's because much like when you use gimbals for weapons, uh, you can kind of gimbal your... Uh, salvage heads by pushing G as in golf just like you would uh, in a ship and that keeps your ship stationary but uh, allows you to move the heads which is great because sometimes these panels spawn right on top of each other so if you're trying to whip around while you're salvaging uh, 
you can't smash into them. Which will damage your ship. Uh, has a small chance of blowing your ship up depending on the speed you're traveling. You know, it's just to me not worth it when it's just it's so easy to do this. I mean, we're we're getting through these fast. I'm hoping. Uh, Hoping I can keep this video a little shorter, but I'm, I'm also I, I want to make sure I get all the all the info I have to give out to you guys. Uh, do me a favor though, if if you like what I'm doing, uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, if you have any recommendations on content for me to make or things you might want me to change, let me know and I'll take it into consideration. Either way, I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. I really love this game. I got out of the content creation game for a while. Uh, but the second, I mean, I, I played this game for a couple days and thought, you know, I think I could, uh, I think I could make some videos that might help some folks. And that's really the goal. This is kind of a side project, although uh, if you stick around to the end, I've, uh, I'm going to be including a composition of mine for the outro music. Uh, that's my day job. I say that. I play this quite a bit, so I don't know. It might be tough to say which one's which, but... We, uh, we're, anyone that's been watching my streams, either here or on Twitch, thank you. Um, a little more action-packed over there. Streams, I tend to do some fun stuff. But I think, uh, I think after the salvage video, I wanted to do a mining video, and then the update came and reset my in-game currency back to zero like everybody else. Well, not zero, but 200k. Which was frustrating, because that was... I just purchased the uh, mining ship that morning and was preparing to make the mining video, so now i got to grind up a bit. Which is fine. I, I actually... I kind of don't like the grind. I don't think I stacked my other... No, I did. Okay. So you guys might have already noticed, you know, we're we're five crates in and we haven't even finished this first panel. So if you find a good spot that's got, you know, four or five pieces of salvage like this, you're you're gonna be able to fill up your, your vulture. And it goes pretty fast. I'm probably gonna skip it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead to the last few crates because I stack them in a particular way uh, that seems to really help keep the crates from bouncing around. Because uh, if you're not paying attention, a crate can smack you and incapacitate you. Which makes sense. It's a sim, right? So, <laughs> just like in real life, if you don't. You stacked a real heavy box and it fell over on you. It's probably going to be a bad day. It's frustrating in game, but at the same time, I actually kind of like it. It's 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 nice the uh, the details. It's one of the things that keeps bringing me back to this game. That and it's there's always something to do, you know. Uh, salvage is the new hot thing. It's a blast. Uh, I'm excited to see what's coming next. I've heard quite a few different uh, ideas. But overall, I just I really like where the game's at. But yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. I'll see you guys in a few minutes once we get these last crates filled up. Okay, guys. We got our 18 crates so far. Now we're getting to the part where we gotta start being a little. Oh boy. 
uh, selective with how we stack things. Uh, I was thinking about it, I'm pretty sure we can fit 25, because we can get 24 out and we can get it to spit that last one out of the hopper. This part makes sense really right up until this section right here, because what we'll be doing now is we're going to stack those two, and we're going to have to get a little creative. So I'll see you again in a second when I get these next two crates done. So we get that first box up, and we've got to get it. We've got to get it over here uh, as much away from the door as we can so that we can pull out the next few. That's the one that gets in the way a lot. We'll pull it forward. Ah, there we go. And then we're just going to go one, two, and one on the tray. All right. Two of our last three are done. I'm going to move them out of the way. Show you the stacking. And then grab one more crate. And we're heading back to sell. part is you gotta get that crate as far out of the way as possible. Forget it to be much smoother than this. But basically Alright. Grab one more crate, get spit out onto the hopper, and then we are good to sell. I have not checked the prices today. It seems like as long as you can get about 7.2 uh, thousand credits per crate, uh, it's worth the sale. Uh, if you've got the time and you want to fly around to the different uh, major trade stations to check prices more power to you I'm usually playing on a, uh, a budgeted amount of time so that's one of the reasons I tend to stick to area 18 or our core in general it just seems to be uh, smoother and the prices for goods seem to stay Competitive. It's very rarely the highest I could get, but it's never been the lowest. Alright, so all we gotta do is go get it to eject that last crate, and then we are good to go. Aha! So as long as the yellow the yellow light turns on, it's going to eject. All right, we got them all stacked back there. Twenty-five crates. Got a whole extra one over uh, what our initial goal was. And now we just got to take these cows to auction. 
gonna head back to ArcCore. I'll see you guys once I'm at the trade terminal. So one quick note before we go further, uh, make sure you store your salvage ship so that uh, you can actually trade this stuff. And because it reduces the chance of somebody actually stealing. Alright folks, we're arriving at the trade development division here on ArtCore. Pro tip here, full blast sprint, jump over that rail. You know, it's it's obligatory. Only noobs take the stairs. Come on. We'll try this one. There we go. So we're here. Uh, we're going to pull up our vulture. And look at all that. Selling for 7.2. 80 cents. I think I might hit 400. No, I don't think I will. Oh, yeah, I will. Sweet. So, uh, 190,000 from 25 crates. Not too shabby. Well, uh, it's been fun. I'm looking forward to uh, more videos to come. Sorry this one took so long to get out. And I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. See you in the verse. Adios.